And he looked at the audience and said, y'all want to have some fun like we did about a year ago when the man's leg grew out? He said, well, we're going to. And he laid his hands on his shoulder. Brother Garcia looked down and said, Brother Tommy, I could look down into that hole in his shoulder and see the bone. He said he started praying for it and said all of a sudden the bone started growing out. In about four inches, the flesh started growing around it. And he said, I sat there, it took only seconds for him, it was slow motion. And he watched it as it just grew out. And he says, then he watched his, the fingernails appeared all of a sudden. This man, his chin dropped down to about here. How he ate, I don't know. And, and even those people at Azusa told me they didn't know. But they started praying for him and then you could hear bones popping and, and his chin started coming back up. And with just in a few minutes, he was normal. And, and, and Lucille said he was really kind of attractive. She had come to Azusa Street. Sister Cardi saw her come in with a, a bloody bandage over her ear. And she said, you could see she was in tremendous pain. So she went up to her says, to minister to her, and she told her what had happened. She said she pulled it back and said, Tommy, it looked like a raw piece of meat. There was nothing there, just a raw piece of meat. Well, she started praying for it, and the woman said, oh, oh I feel tingling, and the pain's all gone. The pain is gone. So she said she yanked it back and looked, and right before her eyes, that was her first creative miracle. She said, that ear, a brand new ear. He said he had a big handkerchief hanging down over his stomach, and it didn't smell too good. Well, he came up and he asked the man, he says, what is your problem? He said, well, he told him, he said he picked up the is and looked under and he says, his entrails just hung out, hung down on his side. And he said, so he put the, 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 the plat back down and put his hand on it and started praying, and he could feel his hand going in. And all of a sudden he says, there was no money. So he just grabbed it and put it back up. There wasn't even a hole. It just closed up, it, it right? It closed in front up. Of him. His, his entrails went back into his stomach. And it closed up. So he, and he got closer and realized the man was blind. Stone blind. So he had more compassion. One of them says, What did you come here for? He says, Well, the people are telling me people it's just people come in here and and they get healed. He said, I wanna be I want my eyes healed. Okay. He said, Okay, let's pray. Let's pray. He prayed for the man. His eyes got healed. Even the stench of alcohol left. And Later on, through the Midwest, he had great revivals with the Assemblies of God, even my hometown. He and established a church there. I had hurt his leg in a football game, and he had it in a cast. Well, when I was speaking, I had him come down and sit in a certain area, and I said, now you people up there, you pray. And I said, I mean you young people, as well as these older ones. You pray, and if God tells you to go need you to go pray for somebody, obey, go down and pray for them. Well, this little girl got up and she looked about 10, but she was 13. She walked down there and laid hands on this man. And all of a sudden he started jerking and he would yell, get the cast off. They busted this cast off and he started dancing around the church. It took me a while to get him to get that little girl over to me. Everybody was going crazy. And I said, sweetheart, how old are you? She said, 13. I said, did you know you can do this anywhere, anytime? She took puzzle. She said, anywhere, anytime? I said, yes. She said she went to her school and she was the what we call the towel girl. Right. You see these little girls handing to Okay, the quarterback got injured bad. They had him up on the gurney. She walked up to him and says, I believe in divine healing. I believe if I pray for you, you will be supernaturally healed. Would you like for me to pray for you? She said he grunted out a yes. She laid hands on him and prayed for him. He got healed. He got up in the next play. It was him out there playing.